the the idea of, of, of college was so foreign to my family as well. I, I remember being in, in 10th grade and my mom wanted to move to Puerto Rico. My, my parents had split up, whatever, and she was like, she wanted to totally revamp her life. She wanted to be near her mom and she wanted to move to Puerto Rico. And and I said, but mom, like I want to study theater and I, I don't think I can study that in Puerto Rico and I want to go to college. And I remember she turned to me and she went, oh, you want to go to college? <laughs> Like she, it was no one in my family has ever gone to hmm. college on either side, and and there have been opportunities, but for whatever reason, my family has never taken advantage of that, uh, and, and and so she was really really floored by that idea, and it became this ego based thing for me where I was like I have to be the first one in the family, I <laughs> have to make this happen, and I'm going to end the vicious cycle, mm -hmm. and so for years I was like. I, I wanted to do this so badly, but I was like, I have to go back. I have to go back to school, and it, it just it wouldn't work out. And the and the, the when I finally when I finally realized, okay, I'm not going to college to study theater because because in retrospect now I think I, I think it would actually be really cool for me to just go and take classes for my mind because the the biggest issue is people think that you have to go to college for a career. And, and I think there is personal interest that has nothing to do with the economy, and has nothing to do with your career that college is there for as well. Uh, and, and, and it's also that you, you, people think they have to go to, to school, to, to uh, the actors that is, a lot of actors think they have to go to school to study acting. And there are other people who uh, study other things like anthropology or history that make them this much more well-rounded person that at the end of the day will make them a much better actor. And, but